Well, that's a really good question. So what made me want to become a doctor? And that's, uh, wow, I guess that kind of threads throughout my entire life because uh, my mother, father, stepdad, they were all teachers. So that service, that want to help others was always in the house and around the family. My dad left teaching and became a, uh, he owned Miller Building Center and so he was always building and helping others by repairing windows and glass and he always helped others when they needed help and that I always saw that my stepdad Tom did the same thing as a kindergarten teacher and then my mom of course for those of you that knew her it seems like everybody loved my mother <laughs> so uh, and she was trained in biology so as as I grew up I was always exposed to that and my sixth grade science fair project was on the nervous system and the, the spine, and I was kind of interested in all of that. So I really wanted to see all of that in my life because I enjoy it. So I started to really kind of figure out, I was old enough to go to the doctor. I didn't like needles. I didn't like getting shots. Um, and mom always was on the side of alternative health care. She did, um, she did uh, Adele Davis and read all kinds of books and tried to use nutrition to help us and to keep us healthy. So we see this kind of starting to form me. I mean, now that I look back at it, I can see how that all did form me wanting to be a doctor and to help others. So the, as I was in high school, I knew I wanted to be a doctor and I was kind of floating back and forth between did I want to be an orthopedic surgeon or did I want to be a chiropractor? Uh, did I want to be a regular uh, GP? What happened? And um, actually, Dr. Jerry Leak and Gary Leak, they were in the family and uh, my sister married Gary who became a chiropractor and I interned for Dr. Leak and I just loved what they did and the people were happy. It wasn't like being at the medical center and the people are sick and miserable and Dr. Leak tried to help people perform better and I like that side of the equation. Um, so that's what I gravitated towards and became a chiropractor. Uh, I started my pre-med and then I became a chiropractor and as I did that, and once I started to practice in 95, actually, um, chiropractic to me did not seem to affect the biochemistry and physiology as much as I wanted. Uh, it didn't lower blood, the way that I practiced chiropractic, it did not lower blood pressure. It didn't help these people. I couldn't help my mom who, who had high blood pressure. So I knew there were other tools out there that I needed to acquire. So I started to look at acupuncture and I started to do acupuncture. And that seemed to help a subset. That, that's a tool that allows me to help calm people down. Uh, but still didn't get into the biology, physiology, and chemistry of the body, allowing people to actually heal and help themselves heal. Um, I like the saying that the doctor is just there to occupy the patient's mind while the body does the work. And so I wasn't doing anything to help the body do the work that it needed to do. And then along comes Zoe. And Zoe is my oldest daughter. Uh, we have Aiden, Zoe, and Eliana. And now Gracie is in my life and Casey is in my life. So I have all these wonderful children that are in my life. But Zoe came along and she had mitochondrial disease. And I couldn't help her. I couldn't help my daughter. 
And so I was introduced to Dr. Ryan Bentley at that point in time, and he did an organic acids test. And we started to see what was not working in Zoe, and we started to help her. Zoe had the prognosis of she's never going to run, she's never going to walk, put her in a wheelchair, she's probably not going to communicate, and let her go. And that wasn't good enough. So Dr. Bentley started working with us and they outlived their, I say they, Eliana was born with the same mitochondrial disease, but they started to actually do things and they went on to the Special Olympics and they, they outlived their diagnoses. And that's when I knew that functional medicine was a tool that I needed to add to my tool chest to help people. And so that's kind of the, the end all be all of it as to how that, that led me to where I am today with helping people and being a doctor and wanting to, to do more. Um, and I say do more because as some of you know, my mother passed away in 2012 and she was into all the alternative care and the yoga and the stretching and, but she died suddenly and there was like no reason. So that's when I started looking at a, a part of functional medicine is the genetics, but understanding that somebody's genes are not their destiny. You or we actually control how those genes want to express themselves. And that's what functional medicine is all about. It's about helping the person be the best that they can or want to be. And that's why I became a doctor because that's fascinating work. Every patient is different. Every patient's protocols are different. And so it, it's truly, truly rewarding work.